Happy Tuesday. Is today Tuesday? Yeah. Uh, this is what my car looks like. Y'all, look at that. Is it not so pretty? I'm so excited. So, I'm going to install that at a customer's house today. Um, I have to go pick up a tree for her that we are going to decorate in, like, this navy blue, white. I'm going to put, like, icicles from her chandelier. God, it's going to be so pretty. Anyways, um, what was I going to tell you? Oh, if when you're voting today, you don't want to vote for a particular person, you can leave that box blank. So one of the people running for um, district judge is Tiffany Hartling. And she was the judge who heard my arrest warrant for not signing over my 401k case against Ben. And she was incredibly hateful and just made me feel absolutely horrible. And I just thought, God, if I didn't have such thick skin, like that's probably like top five worst moments I've ever felt about myself in my life. Like she was just ripping me apart and the whole time Ben's lying to her and she's just buying everything that he's selling. So I absolutely did. Anyway, so I wanted to make sure that even though she's only, she's the only candidate running for that position. Also, I noticed if you notice on your ballot, a lot of positions, it's only one person running in their Republicans. But anyways, um, they didn't have an option to vote straight Republican ticket. And I'm glad they didn't because I wouldn't have selected it because I just, morally I could not vote for her I'm sure she's no I'm not sure she's a great person actually she was incredibly hateful to me for no reason at all and I was scared to death representing myself because Judge Livonius gave Ben all the money after he lied to her and nobody thought to like do the math anyways so I didn't want to vote for her and I wanted to be clear that when I put my ballot in the box <clears throat> it was still going to go through. So when you insert your ballot into the electronic ballot taker thing, it says that one of your boxes is not filled in all the way. And do you want to proceed as is? So you just say yes, and then it'll take the vote, uh, take the box. But I knew it didn't matter, yes or no, if I voted for her. But I just morally couldn't do that because I can't imagine somebody else going. Anyways, I couldn't imagine somebody else with less thick skin going into her court and just having her speak to them the way that she spoke to me when we all know like I didn't do anything wrong in this process like and he totally got away with all this fraud and so I just I couldn't I wouldn't want to put anybody even my worst enemy in front of her again so Tiffany Hartling you definitely don't have my vote but just so you know you cannot vote for a particular candidate and your ballot will still go through so like the guy in front of me said let's make it too big to rig Okay, I have a client that needs a skinny pencil tree in one of their dining rooms. And so this is the one I'm picking up. It's B10 from At Home. It really is the best pencil tree. I've compared them from Walmart, Home Depot, At Home, Hobby Lobby. And this is truly the best. It has 1,500 tips and 400 lights. And it's just a really good seven and a half foot uh, skinny tree. Sorry, I can't think. I'll link it. My dad would be so proud of my resourcefulness. Also, this is going to be so pretty, but y'all, I'm not joking. It's so expensive to make. Like, the balls are expensive. The time that it takes to do it is expensive. But, oh, my God, it's going to be glorious. Just wait.